family torn apart by the death of a teenager as we learn new details about his final moments. Only on 13 Action News, heartbreak over the death of a local teen as police search for his killer. He's not another story on the news and that he had a, a family that loved him and he, was, he had a bright future and it was taken from him. Family members coming together just hours ago at a memorial for 17-year-old Robert Bustos. Tonight, we're learning more about the moments leading up to his death only 24 hours ago. 13 Action News reporter Masa Saidi is live with what she's been able to uncover about the investigation tonight. Masa. Steve, Trisha, we spoke with a woman, one of the last to see Robert alive. She described how she found him on the ground with a pair of scissors in his hand. Tonight, family and friends gathered here. You see the flowers, you see the candles. As the police investigation heats up, the morning here is just beginning. He was an amazing boy. And so athletic. He did wrestling, he football, he anything he could do. I mean, you see the turnout. This kid's 17 years old. He had this much of an impact on lives. He was a son, a brother, and a friend. At the 17-year-old's memorial, so many in disbelief that he's really gone. Robert Busto's life cut short in such a violent way. We can't believe this. This is out of nowhere. And whatever it was over, it did, didn't need to happen. With the two suspects still at large, witnesses don't want to be identified. This woman desperately wanted to help the stranger laying in the grass. He was trying to say something to me, obviously, and that's when I realized he was really, really hurt. What was he trying to say to you? I don't know. He was just, it was all just, he was pretty much trying to grasp for air. Neighbors say the argument was loud and disruptive. Two men trying to get the third to come out of a car. They were just saying, you need to unlock this door. Soon after, two gunshots. Witnesses ran for cover. The killer got away. I feel dead. I don't have any words. Tonight, tears and hugs for the bright-eyed boy. So many young people feeling shock, pain, and guilt. We broke up, and if we would have just fixed it, I feel like I could have prevented this from happening. On the scene last night, police were urging anyone with information to come forward. Also, the family has set up a GoFundMe page to help cover funeral expenses. If you go to our website right now, ktmb.com, we have a link to that posted on the page. Reporting live, Masa Saidi, 13 Action News. Masa,